All right, guys, today we are going to be putting a new carburetor and fuel line on uh, an auger. This is a Tecumseh TC2. Um, power, the auger is a power drill model 90, uh, it was an 8900, model 8900. Um, I, I did the best I could with getting the carburetor. I'm not sure it's going to be a perfect exact match or not. But I got the carburetor for the Tecumseh TC200. Um, and just by glancing up underneath at the carburetor and in this, I'm thinking that this is going to be it. Very close. I think the difference is where the throttle hooks up. I mean, it's got the spot for the spring to hook up. Right here. But there's usually a stud that pops up. This is able to be unbolted. I'm hoping I can unbolt the other piece and then just pop it on there and then that'll work out. I don't know though. We'll find out, won't we? We will find out when we get in there. The most important thing is does this line up and the throttle hook up? It's the important things. We'll find out. We'll tear it apart. Um, and this isn't a common one that I do every day. So bear with me, I'm not exactly sure of the each step that it goes, so we will learn this together, I suppose. Looks like there's supposed to be a nut on top of that to take that off. I guess what I'm going to do first is take these two flatheads out to get to the uh, air filter assembly. up in here and it looks like there's supposed to be two uh, 10 millimeter nuts but we're missing one of the nuts so I'm going to go ahead and take off the second nut one of the nuts is missing though that's crazy huh so this is an oddball on this one I don't know what's originally going to be on these I think this is an original nut but 10 was too big and eight was too small so i figured it must be american five sixteenths didn't work it was too small three eighths was too big so i was like okay wait a minute this is nine millimeter and it is it's a nine millimeter which is very odd because it's an old school motor i would think that this would be uh you know much different it would be american sizes but apparently not all right, so we're gonna take this nut out. What's going on? Did that whole stud come? Oh, that whole stud came out. All right, so the back. So this is ready to come out. This back side here has to come up above this stud here. Let's, you know what, let's see if we can get this stud out of here. Where's my needle nose? Alright, we get the stud out of there. Now this thing should move right around easy. There we go. Feel line. Going right to this thing. That's what's leaking. That's not in there tight anymore the fuel that was leaking. This is where the throttle is hooked up. So this little spring. See there's a lever arm right there. But I think that that is held on. It looks like it might be a Phillips head on that. This isn't going to want to come up. It's got like a little spacer. That's not part of the stud, is it? Oh, it is part of the stud. So the stud has to unscrew. Oh, look. Unscrew. Stud has to unscrew. Be able to get the carb off anyways this is weird this is supposed to be all one piece oh no this has got a nut on it there is a size nut 
Ooh, very small. It was just loose, so it was easy for me to get. Mm, six millimeters too small. That's gonna be quarter. Isn't it? Yeah, quarter inch. Or let me check. Seven. Yeah, quarter inch. These are quarter inch nuts on top of these studs. So yeah, quarter inch. And then you can get the carb off. That's interesting, huh? Oh, look, this arm is long, long, long. It takes quite a bit to get it out. Long. Holy crap. It's got a flap on it. Keep it from over rubbing. It's a flapper on it. Alright, let's let's get these next to each other in a clear spot and everything. Alright, so these are looking exactly the same. Middle hole. You see how this this is the vacuum line for the uh, fuel pump that's built into the carb. And it's in the same spot right there. So this is gonna work out perfectly. We just have to unscrew this big flap thingy and unscrew this, put this flap thingy on this. Sounds easy, but this one will probably be easier to unscrew than this one. For some reason, sometimes these just do not want to come out on the new ones. So let's go ahead and get this spring off. Kind of line these up. Alright, so full throttle on both of them is this position here. So this is going to be down like this at full throttle on this. So see if we can get these to come off. Oh look, now it came easy. Unscrewed. We're going to reuse this new bolt right back on to the new carburetor. Let's see if this one comes off as easy. What is the bolt on this one? It's an Allen? What is that? I don't know what that is. Can we see it here? What kind of bolt is that? Is that a triangle? What the heck? Alright, give me a minute, guys. I'm not sure what this bolt is, but we don't want to damage this plastic piece trying to mangle this thing up that we're not going to reuse. So I'm going to get a drill and I'm going to drill this piece, this, just the head of this bolt off to where I can get this off without doing any damage to it. Alright, so we're just going to drill the head of it. So I got uh, a 564, I think drill bit. We're going to try that one first. You just go slow at it. Or you'll burn the drill bit up. Nice even pressure. You'll pull a nice little curly fry out. in there. We have to go to the next size up. I'll drill a little bit further. Yeah, 
God dang, we want to come out, which is 930, uh, uh, 330 seconds. Here's the next size up. Oh, look, it popped right off. That's all it needed. It had freaking uh, already been drilled out. It just needed to be popped off. All right, so the head's off. This should come off nicely now. Full throttle. This is aiming back at this screw here. So it means with this one, pop it off of there. This one, full throttle, I'm going to be aiming back at the screw here as well. Doesn't quite want to fit on there perfectly, but it does line up the way it's supposed to. So I'm just going to kind of hold it in place because it just doesn't want to line, it doesn't want to fit on there perfect. So I'm going to have to hold it in place and then put this screw in. So let's see what we can do. So this should wedge it right down in pretty good. There and it pushed it right down on. I'm gonna screw it in nice and tight. Boom. Perfect. Ready to go. Easy peasy. Alright, and then uh package came with new gaskets. We want the one with the hole in the middle. We want that hole to line up with that hole. Like so, oh, careful. Do not want to mess this up. Wait a minute, look at that. No. Oh, okay, it's got a port in the back. I thought it was not lining up. It's got a port in the back that lines it up. I was like, that is not right. <laughs> All right, so when that gasket's fine, we're gonna leave that one alone. We'll put this gasket on. And we're gonna get this carburetor. With, uh, see that hole right there lines up with those holes. Gonna get it shoved up in there. It's supposed to go. And uh, I'm gonna stick one of the studs back in. Once I figure out where I put them. I'll put all oh, there. It is. Just kind of get this kind of lined up. The gasket. Isolator block. There, that's just kind of lined up. We, oh, you know what? Got to get the spring in. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Should have done that earlier. Son of a gun. Well, I guess it can do better late than never, huh? Where in the world is 
the hole all the way on the other side. bolt for some reason does not want to fit nicely on this gasket. We're going to make it happen. Nicely the block. Yeah. Put this in. spring this is horrifying design that's it old school stuff though make it work right all right get all that lined up I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one down Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the nut off of this one before I tighten this all the way down Just using a pair of uh, vice grips in the 9 millimeter. Oh, that pop pretty free. There we go. Not off of there. Um, let me go find an extra nut for this first. So I got two new brass nuts from the hardware store. Um, they were 1024 threads. American thread 1024. If you ever need to get them for yours. All right, let's get this. So now we got to make sure we line the gasket up there, it lined right up and dropped right in. Get the uh, isolator block lined up with this plate and then it to thread in. You want to make sure that your gasket is lined up. And we're going to go ahead and tighten that all down as soon as I figure out what I did with my quarter inch. We'll get them snugged up first. Doesn't want to go down all the way. I think it's just not deep enough. Like you might want to use a deep well on it. It's going around enough for me to get it. All right, nice and solid. Um, let's do the fuel line now. I'm going to want to measure it about the same length. Let me get this set up. Um, kit comes with fuel line. We're going to want to just kind of figure out roughly the same length. Let me make sure it's a little bit loose. That looks good to me. Just double check. looks about right to me. I'm going to take this one off. It's a really thick barb so it's hard to get it all the way on. Fires if you have to. Just 
keep wiggling it until it gets on all the way. All the way down. really have to go all the way to the base but you want to make sure it gets over that first barb end there at least you know where it curls over it yeah, I'm nice nice and down on there good we're gonna hook up hold on the other end it's going to plug in right here. I'm going to go ahead and stab that in place. Um, you do not need the clamps. The lines just don't need it. That was like extra precaution stuff they put on back in the day. But no two stroke to use those clamps anymore. It just this line shrinks right on it as soon as the gas hits it, you know. All the way on, just like so. Now we're gonna get this side into place here. Um, just like so. Just like that. Just all the way. This bottom on the heel. We'll get that on first and then we'll get these studs lined up. Which they line right up and go on. No problem. Put our new, let me get this where we can see it. There we go. We'll get our new. Nuts on there, nice pretty brass nuts on there. Now this is probably not going to be a 9 anymore. I'm leaning towards probably a 3 8. But we'll find out, see if the 10 will work. Ten will work. So that means it's three eighths. The ratchet on here. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. And I wonder if this one will fit this top. I have that extra one left over. I'm going to fit this top. Yes, it will. So we'll just use this extra on this top piece here. And tighten it up. That's going to be a nine. Put some gas in it. It's a very rich mix, 24 to 1. Most other two strokes are like 40 or 50 to 1. This one's 24 to 1. Just make sure you mix it rich. Five ounces to a gallon. It says it right on here. Five ounces of oil. Alright, I haven't tried firing this up yet, but we got the switch on. Full choke. I'm going to give it full throttle as well. We're going to pull it till it fires, hopefully. All right, fire it up. We're going to take it off choke, still full throttle. All right, wants to run. Put it back on choke, back off choke. We may have to adjust this tarp.
didn't have to adjust it just had to get it running and keep it running <clears throat> all right guys that's it uh, I guess we'll put in the air filter back in it um, it's just a foam filter not a big deal um, I buy this in a sheet by the sheets of foam um, you can get the uh, generator foam filter and cut out your square whatever you need and pop it in in your air filter cover and pop it back on two flathead screws all right guys this helped you out in any way shape or form make sure you give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i'll put the uh carburetor filter anything like that that i can remember um in the uh description below just click on the links it'll take you right to them if you want to do any advertising through my channel message me I'll be more than happy to have you. Peace.